To set up a headland sequence in our new Massey Ferguson S series tractors, first things first from our home screen, if we navigate to the three bars in the top right hand corner, we navigate to our headland management page, you will see we have a blank headland management. To set up a headland management, first thing, we're going to select our three dots and we're going to set up, say, our infield sequence. So during our infield sequence, First things first, we're going to go to our hydraulics. And we're going to go ahead and go with valve one and say minus is lower and hit OK. So say we have a disc behind our tractor here for this headland sequence. So first things first, when we get to the field, after we unfold it, we're going to drop the disc into the ground. Once we get the disc in the ground, we're going to go ahead and go to our C1 cruise speed we'll hit OK and with our C1 cruise speed we'll have our uh, auto guide set up so after we hit C1 cruise speed we're gonna go ahead and go in here and we're gonna select our auto guide engage so now setting up our infield sequence you'll have the implement drop we'll go to our C1 cruise speed we'll engage the auto guide line and we'll be going through the field it is important to note that on our headland sequences, we do need a pause. So we're going to go ahead and go in here and insert a pause and hit OK. The pause is going to be your time in the field working or your time to turn around at your end of your headland. So we're going through the field. Once we get to the other end, we're going to start our out of field sequence. So if we hit our three dots, we'll go to our transmissions page and we'll go ahead and go to C2 or our turn speed hit OK. After that we're going to have to lift our implement so we'll go to our remotes go to valve 1 and we'll do the positive side of the valve because the negative was lower and hit OK. And now at the end of our headland we'll be in our turn speed by going to C2. Our implement will be picked up out of the ground with valve 1 and then we will need a pause also at the end of our sequence. This pause is going to provide us the time we need to turn the tractor around at our headland. So now going through this sequence, we'll start, we'll lower the implement, we'll go to our cruise one speed, which is our infield speed with the disc, we'll engage our auto guide line, and then our pause is going to be our time through the field. Setting up our out of field, we'll go to C2 cruise speed, which will be our turn speed. We'll pick the implement up out of the ground with our positive on valve one, and then we'll have a pause here, and that'll give us time to turn around. So how this is going to react in the field, if I hit start on the right hand side, you will see that if I hit and hold, it's going to play through our first sequence, and then it's gonna pause. And then if I hit and hold F1 again, it'll play through our second sequence. It is important to note that we have to have two pauses in each headland when we're doing an infield and out of field sequence. That way we have time to operate the tractor when going through the field or making our turn at our headlands.